All right, here we are, guys. Today on a nice rainy day, figure we do a little update, little G body frame repair update. Um, things been coming together slowly. Uh, the weather it's really put a dampen on everything that's going on. So uh, nothing you can really do about that. It's winter time, slows people down. Uh, people want to don't want to move quite as fast when it gets cold outside. So. It's fine with me. Ain't no rush. We got all winter to get this frame fixed here. Sorry about the camera. So uh, let's do a little, do a little preview of what we got going on here. Um, did some welding, some priming, some painting, and all that good stuff. So let's take a look here. Here's our first piece. This is my rear frame rail here that has had some work done to it it's already primed and painted it will need some clear it's still drying painted that one last night painted this one today let's see if we can get a good view on this see this frame body bushing repair I did that myself uh, these these washers were actually custom order from fast and uh, I can get more if you're interested in some G-body frame repair bushings for dirt cheap, I think I got 10 of them for 20 bucks, something like that. And so that's cheaper than what everybody else is paying for them. Uh, you can get the whole set on Summit for 26 bucks or something like that. If you want, if you need that many, it comes with a whole bunch. Uh, my welds aren't the best, but. They're not terrible. I mean, considering that this has no stress on it, really. There's my cat. Let's see if you my cat. Tiger. He's just chilling, but... Just painted this one a few minutes ago. Probably about 30 minutes ago. So, she's getting her... She's drying up right now. Now, if you look right here... Can't really see in this light. Maybe we can get this angle. Alright, so this is a bad spot that rusts out on these. So what I did, I took and I kind of ground down that butt well just a little bit. And I went in there and I laid a bead all the way down right there. So that won't rust out like that. Now, these are going to get probably scratched up some because this is getting a... 79 Malibu is getting a frame notch, so probably from like right there down on this side of the half will be cut off, which is fine. I'm not doing that. I'm actually taking it to a good friend that's going to do this for me. He's going to do the well, the frame rails on and do the frame notch. So let's go back here and take a look what we got going on with the car, but why we would need to have some frame repair. Uh, I have run into a lot of, you know, similar problems that other people with G-bodies have run into. So let's cover here. here. Alright, we'll start out below. Bam! You talking about a bad frame rail, son? That is a bad frame rail. So all that is going to be cut off all the way up to about, about right there past the coilover. Now the coilovers are new, I didn't do a video about those, but you're seeing them now. Those are QA1 single adjustable coils, 150 pound springs, probably should have went with the 130s, but we'll try the 150s first. If you look up in here. Got the UMI performance brace. Custom ordered that. And then when I had it apart, I went and had my sway bar cleaned. Actually, I cleaned it, sanded it. And then I went and had it powder coated. Two layer powder coat with clear. And then brand new grade 8 bolts on the lower control arms. If you look at this, I mean, it's not bad. The, the body's not super rusty. I'm going to clean all that up once I get it back from the guy. But let's look at this one. This one is not nearly as bad. Sorry, my 
trickle chargers in the way there. Get some light on that. Look at how bad that is. So, all right. So instantly, like everybody said, that bolt broke when I tried to take it loose, which is fine with me. Don't care. Really don't care. We took it right here. Cut the trunk open. I hate to do that, but. I'm going to push that down and throw a thin bead over that. And I'm not really worried about the cage either because once I do this, it's never coming back apart. So I'm just going to take and run a bolt through the top, down through the bottom, put a nut on the bottom. Not worried about it. Have to cut all these where the white is. Or that's There's one right there. See how it's sticking up? That's where the other bolt comes through. That's where that one is. I use white out to mark it. And the other one, I believe, somewhere right in there. But I didn't see none of this. My battery relocation kit. Did all that myself. There's my kill switch. <coughs> so let's take a look at this real quick. Let's go over here and look at the food before we get super carried away into this. And I'll show you the last couple of things of this video. It's just another day here. Kentucky. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wake up. Yeah. Alright, we'll let those cook. And we'll go in here and let's look at this last little bit of stuff. Here's off my buddy's 400. It is actually in the shop. Just got clean. Got some pictures of it being cleaned up. We'll come over here. We got the goods here. We got the goods. We got the real goods. We got the energy energy suspension, urethane, body bushings. This is the whole kit for the car. Don't know if we're gonna install all of them. Probably won't. Don't have that much money. So this is high quality stuff. This is what I need though. Had to get them. And the only way to get them is the whole set. So fine with me. Maybe one day if I hit the lottery. We'll do a frame o resto on this car. And then right here, you and my performance. I'm getting this disaster paper here. Is the frame notch kit. What was in there? I think the instructions was in that. Now this is something that anybody who owns a G body, this is something that you should have done just because it, it really does make the car nicer. You, know, you can tuck the wheels in, lower the stance of the car, and really make it hook. I mean, that's what that's what we're going for. We're going for hooking off the line, you know. So, there's a part number if anybody's interested in this. Part number 3061 G-Body Frame Notch Kit. This is the instructions. You know, it says it right here. This kit does require major cutting, grinding, and welding. Advanced fabrication skills are required to install this product. And that is why I am not doing it. I'm not saying that I can't. But with what I'm going to be doing with it, drag racing, I'm not taking a chance. I'm going to let somebody that is a professional do this. Actually, a guy that runs a dirt track, builds his own chassis. So I'm going to let him do that. It's supposed to be taking it next week to have that done. So I'll keep an update on that. Let's go over here and look. Summit Racing did send me a hat this time around. All right. Oop. Rear frame notch kit. And then the body mount set. That's what you want. 4141G. And I do have the hat inside, so there's the NOS kit, just chilling. But yeah, the trunk's pretty much stripped. All I got left to do is to pull the battery, and it is out. Got the fuel tank out. The fuel tank will not be going back in. Super duper rusty inside. Something that I am not going to do. So I'm either thinking about hanging a 10-gallon fuel cell down below this. 
which is going to be tricky because I'll have to drill a hole in there for to fill it, which is fine. Or I may do a two and a half gallon fuel tank uh, underneath the hood. Uh, tell me what y'all think in the comments. Uh, my buddy said with nitrous you're going to be burning more fuel. Yes, that does make a lot of sense. So I don't know if two and a half gallon will work. It'll be perfect for drag racing. And any time it goes to the car shows, we'll just trailer it close to where we got to go. And then get them off, get it off, drive to the car show. This is not going to be a highway car by any means ever again. It's not going to be a full-blown drag car. But it is going to be a true street drag car. So, I got all my race gas over there. What I get, there's five in there, six, seven... Eight, nine. I got nine gallons of race gas sitting right there. So this is a little update on the G body. Uh, if anybody's interested in having some frame rails repaired, welded up, primed, painted, getting them ready to be put on, I can do that. Hit me up in the comments. As you can tell here, I mean, that's a pretty good bead. I'm, I'm happy with that. So we're just throwing, uh, it's got the Rust-Oleum Rust Primer, Rust-Oleum Industrial Gloss Black Paint, and then once she dries, we're going to throw the Rust-Oleum Clear on her. So, just wanted to let y'all know that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I will have an update on this very soon uh, as it goes to the chassis man. So, y'all have a good one. See you in the next one.